got one of those noses that keep laughing. He's trying to hide it from you, but then the noise came out. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, I apologise. You're such a chav. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, text the word Chris to 70011. Come on, that's a pound in that comic relief kitty. We're going to have another update in half an hour. Let's see if we can get this number up as high as we can. We wanted to get it to 700,000. Text the word Chris now to 70011. Right? Yeah. Good. Do you want to do some news? Yeah. Mm. All right, then, lovely. And then after the news, Scott... Just to make you feel like you're back in your own show, we're going to play some music. Digital FM online. Oh. This, this is BBC Radio 1. Uh, here's the news at 5 o'clock with Tulip. As Japan steps oh, up... Oh, so, I'm so, so sorry. I'm fade... I'm, for the first time ever, I actually faded the right news studio up and I forgot that at 5 o'clock you come into the studio. I've got it all wrong today. I'm over here. Now I can see you. <laughs> Right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. We'll do it again and nobody will know I've already done it once. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio 1. It's five o'clock, here's Tulip. As Japan steps up its efforts to stop high radiation levels With spreading from its effect. What from us at 5.45. Ah. This is BBC Radio 1's longest show ever. Chris Moyles and Comedy Dave and Scott Mills for Comic Relief. Hello! Hour 35. So, I'll tell you what, we're on our way. Yeah, we're nearly there in a way. Yeah. Two and a half hours and we've broken Radio 1's record for the longest ever radio yes. show. And then we can go home. Well, we could do. What are you going to do? I'm going. Stay, you have to stay. Are you staying? I think if you stay, you, you can do a million. Are you, are you staying? If it means we get a million, then yeah. So, you don't really want me to stay, though. That's what you've invited no, me. No, you're no, you're right. I do. No, <laughs> you can stay. You've invited me, and then you're just going to sleep through. Becky, share the pain. Share it with us. I'm just stay concerned that I'll miss the Red Nose Desert track tonight on BBC One at nine o'clock. Are you watching that tonight, Scott? Might do. Why are you watching it? At your house? No. Are you Craig... going to go to the pub and watch it? No, Craig David's house. Craig, Craig David's, David's house. house? Yes. Craig David? David. Craig David's Craig. house. Craig David's house. 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 <laughs> Willy Wonka. Yeah. I've got loads of crisps. Would you like a quaver? Like that. Yeah, him. Is Kez going to be there? He's doing a full buffet. Uh, I don't know. Hey, old Kez, go get the door. I think it's Scott and Ollie Merge. <laughs> I'm going to go get some more Vimto out at Shella. <laughs> what a night you're going to have. It's going to be good. Who, is everyone going round? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Apart from Cara. Why? She's not get on. No, she's just away. Don't like her. She talks <laughs> funny. Do <laughs> <laughs> so going round? Yeah. I love Dermot O'Leary. Can I get an X Factor job in America? Probably not. <laughs> it's full of broken promises. <laughs> you what, Ollie? Ollie. What come did you on, say, Ollie? Come, come on, Ollie. Yeah. Do uh, your joke. No, I wasn't going to do it. Go on, say what oh, you just said. I wasn't going to say anything. Go on, say it, Ollie. Question. What were you saying? No, I didn't say anything. You just said something to me, Craig. David, what did you say? Can I get a rewrite? Oh, well, so sure, pass that. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you're going to Craig's tonight, Ollie? I'm going to Craig's tonight, yes. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you invited us, actually. If we hadn't been holding. Yeah, he up... invited us knowing full no. well that we'd been working. Well, I tell you what, we could really throw the cat amongst the pigeons. If we actually did finish when we break the uh, Simon Mayer record, we'd be free all night and then we could all bowl up at, true. at Craig Davis. When are you finishing then? Well, that's for, that's a, an issue of debate, Ollie. Yeah. There's a chance we could, we, if we wanted to, we could finish at 7.31 tonight, but there's talk of us going through and finishing at half ten tomorrow morning. Yeah. Oh really? Which yeah. is quite a difference. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what are you feeling at the moment? Are you feeling it's going to be tonight or I'm tomorrow? I'm feeling like it's a stupid idea. We've raised a gob of money. We should all just check it gonna, and go home. Are you going to do it in terms of money, though? Depending on how far you get up I, to? I don't know. No, I, like, it's going like, to be a time limit. I don't know. It'll be a time limit. Like, I can't, I haven't slept. No. So... 34 and a half hours we've done. So will it be at half 10 then? Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow morning, well, it'll be us till 10, and then it'll be me, Dave, and Fern Cotton, and then at half 10 we could go, we've done 52 hours, Ooh. broken a new world record yeah. from the Guinness no world, one will ever new world that. record. That would be pamphlet. pretty cool. No one will um, ever beat that. Oh, someone will probably uh, yeah, beat it next week. Will. Nah. Yeah. 
But it doesn't matter, at least we've done it then. That'd be amazing. Yeah. I tell you what, I bet Simon Mayo is sitting uncomfortably at the moment, knowing that we're just two hours he, away from, he don't give from a breaking his record. Uh, he's, uh, get lost. He's just pleased if he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> not bothered by that. He's on radio and said, well, what is it? It must be, must be 90 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a nice guy, don't get me wrong, but he opens his eyes in the morning and goes, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> 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 so have you been doing any, like, you know, stretches and warm-ups. Ollie, what are you what? doing? Ollie's a little doing? bit of stretch. Ollie, what are, you do- what are you doing, Ollie? I don't know, I'm just asking if you've been, you guys have been keeping yourself, you know, in you shape. Look- you know, a little bit of stretching, walking around. Oh, what's going on? I don't know, just... Hmm. He's just Sorry. doing involuntary squats. I just, you know, just wondering if that's what you've been... No, they haven't. No, like that. I, haven't. Uh, I, haven't. I have I have stood up for the whole show, though. Yeah? Yeah, I thought mm. it was slightly impressive. But That's good. Cool. Yeah. He's not uh, bothered, is he? No. <laughs> He'll learn. <laughs> He'll learn how difficult it is, son. Yeah. <laughs> You'll realise your, you you feel of... your job of miming is a doddle compared to this skill. Going around to Arndale Centre's going, make it evergreen or whatever you do. I've no idea. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, we're on the cold faces of entertainment. <laughs> I knew we'd get to this stage. Yeah. I'm loving it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Stop, you stop. Oh, don't be don't moody. Don't moody Murs. Moody I'm not going, see? Moody Murs. Moody Carol Murs. I'm not being moody. S- Simon, it's Ollie. They've been picking on me. That's how he talks. Mm. <laughs> it's from Essex. You know what I mean, Harry? What? You know what I mean, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to lie, she's dead to me since my mate Jeff went. That shows a lot of old rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> See, in my head, that sounds like Ollie Murs. Yeah. I'm starting to look at everyone's reaction. Now you had a you had a really what funny one last week. I can't week. remember what it was. It Wait, man, like oh, it. it's Ollie Murs. Was it that? No, it was worse than that. I, I mean, it was just like rough Essex boy, pretty much. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, completely. Yeah. Anyway, we're raising money, as I said, for yeah. comic relief. Yeah. Get your phone out, text the word Chris to 7001. We'll chat with Ollie later. This is BBC Radio One's longest show ever. With Chris Moyles and Comedy Dave and Scott Mills for Comic Relief. Hour 35. Yeah, uh, you know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Thank you, welcome, Scott. Next year, Scott should try and beat our record. I think so. Right, all, really in, all in favour? Aye. Yeah. No, aye. No. aye. I'm in. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, there's something wrong with your eyes, dude, Ollie Merce. I'm what, looking yeah. at you on the red button yeah. on the screen. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's really freaking look... me out. Can I ask you a question? Ollie, have you had some surgery? No. Your eyes look, look amazing. They're just yeah. wrinkle free. And they look nice. Hey. Yeah, they look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, hey. Hey, what's happening? Hang on, just, just look, put them on again. Oh. He, looks like, <laughs> he looks like a plugger we used to know. I can know. see myself. I Hello. think you look a bit like Scott. Who are those? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, not like a plugger that we used to know. Uh, oh, God, right there, right now, in that pose at that angle, that looks real. Really? That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I have been awake for 35 hours. <laughs> Just If you squint a little bit, it definitely looks real. Welcome to Radio 1. Do you know what? 8.8 FM. Did, in London. In London. Actually, actually you look like an XFM <laughs> DJ. If you close your eyes, Ollie, because we can see your eyes a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. Keep, keep your eyes closed. Can you? And oh. then just pretend you're a DJ yeah. on Radio 1. You're going to do something. Um, 98.8 FM, Radio 1, playing the hits. I can't see what are you guys What are you guys doing? Um, where is everyone? Hello? You guys just got to leave me. Oh. I actually was like, where is everyone? <laughs> we hid it from you, oh, Ollie. Don't do that again, floor. guys, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, look who's here. That's right, it's Mr. Ollie Murr. Oh, That's thanks, right. Thanks for having me. It's you didn't pleasure. win the X Factor. You always say this when I come in. Well, well no, I didn't, didn't win the X Factor. I haven't Factor. finished, I haven't finished. Oh. Because he didn't need to. Oh. He didn't want to. No, he did. Like, you guys feeling good, though? You feeling good? All right. Yeah. Kind of. You don't actually, like I say, I've been listening to you guys today, and you don't seem like you've, like I was saying earlier, you don't seem like you're, you know, you're tired or in, in any way. You, you seem do. really you upbeat. Yeah. Do I? <laughs> yeah. You don't sound like you're, uh, you know, I mean, you don't, I was saying to someone the other day, you don't, uh, you don't see, uh, do you? You don't, do you? No. <laughs> we've, we've done worse shows than this on a proper night's sleep. 
Yeah, no, you guys. I watched you guys. Are you going to say that in front of our boss, Big Boss Ben? <laughs> he Who knows. Is? Anyway, he's worked with us for years. <laughs> right behind you. He's been he's been party to some of our work. Produced. Very good point. Some he didn't produce, but you should have done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, was that the time? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Don't have wronged me. So you well, Ollie? All good? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm really good. Yeah, I was going to bring you guys a gift, but I didn't bring anything in. I feel really bad. I thought I was going to bring something Do to you cheer what, you up. you know what, Ollie? Your presence is yeah, our present. present. Cool. But then I bought two presents in, and you guys haven't really appreciated them, I don't think. What do you mean? Oh, what well, the sandwiches last I bought time. The, I bought that the Trilby hat for you last time. Well, no, I did appreciate that. And you've gone missing a, well, somewhere. It was a little bit too small for my head, and as you said... You look like Oliver Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> I never said that. No, you did, though, didn't you? Yeah, but you he laughed did. at it. He did, a little bit. Yeah, laughing Maybe. up there. I'm not laughing up. And then I bought the bacon rolls, in, which, to be fair, was a schoolboy by me, because I know you guys weren't eating bread, but still. But, like, today, I'll eat anything, and you brought nothing. Oh, I feel really You bad. could have got your mum to make some packed sandwiches or something before you No, you don't, you don't want them. Oh, don't, want them. don't say that about your mum's food. No. <laughs> really? Is it not good? Nah, she does good sandwiches. She right, does. Okay, all right. Definitely. All good. All right, all good. I'm, I'm looking forward to Craig's food tonight. Yeah. I wonder what he's got on. I don't I've got some volavants. Volavants. He's literally ram raided Iceland. For us <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon he'll have one of those Kerry Katona prawn Looking rings? Prawn rings. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, don't knock it. I spent an absolute fortune in there. Seven ninety nine, and we can eat for a year. Seriously? <laughs> what, really? It's serious? all defrosting now. Oh wow! <laughs> Is he really? Are you really serious? Yeah. I'll put it near the radiator so it defrosts quicker. Come on. <laughs> Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, will these prawn rings defrost? I don't know why I'm giving him a lift. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Anyway, you're going to have fun tonight. I've, I've not been invited, really. Well, I am, oh, but he go. knew we were yeah. working. Part of me wants to finish at seven and just go. Yeah. <laughs> He's not bothered. He's sitting home in his £10 million house going, you can't come because you're working, fat lad. So he's not bothered. He's winning. Right, listen, it's 20 past five. Keep all your phone calls and texts coming in. If you're still watching, by the way, on the red, bu red button, feel free to text us. 8199 right into the studio saying, still watching. We might say hello to you. Right, Scott, what have we got coming up? I'm really giddy. Okay, we can do... If you want some innuendo bingo. Who are you looking at? The one that Woo! didn't speak. All right, okay. I can't make any decision with that. I love that game. Um, and Merz has done it before. He's a big fan. It's massive. Brilliant. Well, so I, don't, I don't know if you should play it. Why? I don't know if you've earned the right. Well, I what have we got to do? What do you want me to well, do? Oh, because we've all worked hard yep. and brought something to the show. And therefore, oh. we can play. If you bring something to the show, then you can play. Well, what have so we there's, got? There's, there's two what? things you can do. Oh no! What's that? Then? Your Paolo and Tini, uh, the Paolo and Tini impression, which I know you love doing. Yep. Oh yes, we but need then, to have this on. The other thing I've heard is that you do an amazing version of Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, kind of in it's Spanish. Not, in Spanish, but it's not actually Spanish because you can't speak Spanish. <laughs> you make the Spanish up. <laughs> That'll do for me. Yeah. I, see, I think That'll I want to do see Donkey. That. I want to see that one first. Is it in tune, this guitar? I don't, it'll be close enough. Kind of. Yeah. Can you play Hero? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Oh. Do Paolo, though. Okay, let's do Paolo. Oh. Wow, this is good. Look at okay, this. look, everybody, watch this on the red button. So you're going to do now, Paolo. Or online at bbc.co.uk slash radio one. This is Oli Murs in the mime lounge. You have to see <laughs> in the mime lounge. You have to see it to fully appreciate really? it. Really? Oh, yeah. Hello, this is Paolo Nishini. Go ahead. Put a little reverb on as well. Hello. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make it sound proper. Okay, right. Is he Irish? Oh, no, this is Irish. Oh, why? <laughs> this is really, I'm quite nervous about doing this. Right, okay. This is coming, this is not right. It's a civic, guys. This is a left handed guitar, is it? Don't know. Watch the face. Watch the face. Oh, no. There. I was perched outside in the pouring rain. Trying to make myself sing And I flow to you, my darling Devil even on my quill Door doors are the first one to swing to spiders 
She gets me then on the list. I'm her hardest man that was be but the helpless man that be so oh, darling I'll be your skin I'll even wash you close 